Well, welcome back. Democrats are hoping an unrealized capital gains tax on billionaires can salvage President Biden's massive spending agenda. But the Democrats scrambling to get a deal. It's looking less likely that the president will be able to roll back President Trump's 2017 tax cuts altogether. Joining me right now is Americans for Tax Reform President Grover Norquist. Grover, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks so much for being here. So yesterday we spoke with Maya McGinnis about this new convoluted plan to tax unrealized capital gains if you're a billionaire. Walk us through this, because I think it's real easy to understand once you explain it. I don't see how they're going to be able to raise enough money to pay for this spending. But walk us through what this means and what you think of it. Right. The first thing, Maria, the first thing you have to do is drop this. It only hits billionaires, okay? This is trickle-down wow. taxation again. They will promise that it only hits billionaires today. Later, it will get everybody. The income tax was put in promising to only hit, at the 7 percent rate, people who made more than $11 million a year in today's dollars. Many of you watching make less than $11 million a year and pay more than 7 percent. So the income tax was brought in on the same promise that this wealth tax is brought in. Here's the other problem. There is no constitutional r rule that allows a wealth tax. An income tax, yes, which is why they will design this <laughs> to be a fake income tax, because if it's obvious it's a wealth tax, it'll be unconstitutional. Also, they've done this before. In the late 70s, uh, they tried to get rid of the step up in basis, because when you tax unrealized gains, that means the value of your house goes up $10,000 last year. But you don't have $10,000 in cash, but they want to tax you on that $10,000 unrealized gain, unrealized income. It's yeah, actually your right. life savings, you, but you have to actually have to sell the house or borrow against it to be able to pay that tax. They want to do that to homes, to 401ks, yeah. to small businesses. When they did this, when they tried to do this under Carter for four years, they said, when you die, not every year, but when you die, we're going to... Uh, tax you on the unrealized gains before anything goes to your yeah. kids. That was so difficult yeah. to implement so, that the New York Times said it was crazy, and they repealed it. Now they want to do it every single year. Well, you're it's, right. I mean, look, if somebody has an unrealized gain, in other words, I own a stock, I own a painting, and in that tax year, the IRS claims that the value of that painting, the value of that stock portfolio went mm -hmm. up. I'm getting taxed on that, even though I haven't seen a dime of anything. It's on paper. I own it. And after I send my check to the IRS to pay for it, the stock may go down. The, the value of the art may go down. So it, it's totally, you know, I mean, the Wall Street Journal editorial board is calling it out this morning. They're calling out Democrats in an op-ed, in this new op-ed called the Democrats' Wealthy Tax Mirage. They write, quote, details of Senator Wyden's plan haven't been released, so it's not clear if the tax would apply to non-financial assets assets, like artwork or intellectual property. If so, more Americans could get soaked. So, Grover, what about if you lose money? How about if the stock goes down, the value of your painting went down? How do you value that? Well, can you imagine having the IRS tell you what the value <laughs> of a painting is? And imagine the corruption yeah. that takes place. Or your jewelry or something. Yeah. Or, or the value of your house. If, if, or, or a farm right. or land. Uh, uh, you know, somebody's going to come in and tell you what the value is. Not buy it, by the way, but just tell you what they think the value is. The opportunity for corruption is amazing. Uh, and then, of course, are they really going to be writing checks to billionaires when the stock market goes down and some of these guys we think of as very rich lose tens of billions of dollars in a weekend? Are they really getting a check from the government for that? This is such a bad idea. Remember, all of the bad ideas they brought up to date, okay, many of them have been shot down. They wanted to raise the corporate rate higher than China's uh, to make us not competitive. That's so stupid. They're beginning to backing off that. So now they got to do this. This is like the last idea they had. This is the worst idea they had. The yeah. least. And so we're down to scraping the barrel of things that everybody on the left thought, this won't work, this won't raise the money, this will really drive people nuts. And they, they may pass it and tell everybody, don't worry, 
we're just pretending to raise this money, like when they say we're going to get more money out of small businessmen by auditing them more. They're promising $700 billion in higher taxes that they imagine they'll get out of small businesses that, that deal in cash, you know, like barbershops. But they can take that because the, the, the CBO will score it as a, revenue, as a revenue increaser. And what then happens? The, they can spend that money. So what the Democrats really want yeah. is an imaginary number. They can spend it. Then they'll come back and go, this was too stupid. We'll repeal it, as they did in the 1970s under, during the Jimmy Carter mm. regime, where they got rid of taking away the step-up in basis. They put it back. So if this is in, it's really a disaster for economic growth, for people saving, for people investing. And take it out of anybody's mind that this will only hit the rich. That's what they told us about the income tax. That's what they told us about yeah. the, the, the phone tax to pay for the Spanish-American War, which only hit millionaires. But within 20 or 30 years, it had everybody in the country. Yeah, give me a break. I mean, not only that, but there's not enough money that you could raise from this uh, to fill that $800 billion hole that they have uh, without raising corporate taxes and individual tax. Or taking it down to everybody so everybody's home is taxed whenever they decide there's an appreciation. You could probably squeeze more money out, but you're not hitting billionaires. You're hitting everyone with a house or a 401k or an IRA. That's more than half the country right there. Yeah. Well, it's more indication to me that this administration does not care about taxpayer money. They don't care. They want to spend on their climate plan. They don't care what it takes. And they're going to leave $86 billion on the ground in Afghanistan. They're going to leave hundreds of millions of, of, of equipment on the ground at the border. No more border contracts. They don't care. It's taxpayer money. Also, by the way, taxpayers just paid for those secret flights, right? Bring migrants into private airports on private jets. We don't care. It's your money. Grover, thanks very much. It's good to see you. We'll be watching. Maria, We've got a spotlight thank you. on it all. Grover Norquist. All right, see you soon, sir.